hi guys so today in my video my ever first video i'm going to show you this particular school university of missouri uh, the biological science department they have about 25 faculty members that are recruiting for research assistantship position for the year 2024 for intake as it's written over here so we'll go through all the 25 faculty members they have full funding for every student especially phd but if you have a good GPA for masters, you can you can as well apply for such position. Now, all these faculty members, about 25 of them, have research and active research that they will be recruiting students for for next year. So this is the right time to reach out to all these faculty members, especially those that their research aligns with your interest. So let me start with so. When you see something like this, first of all, I will encourage you to visit the school website, which I did over here. So I visited the biological science department at the University of Missouri. These are the graduate program and the requirements. You have to look through if you had met all the admission requirements and then you have all the documents ready. You look through all this, the lab recruiting, every information is on their portal. After that, you see all the faculty members recruiting. You visit each of them, their profile. When I click on the drop down, Dr. Dan is doing research in establishment and maintenance of epithelial tissue architecture. So you read more about whatever he's doing. If it aligns with, let's say, your former work experience or your former research work, you just have to reach out to him. When I scroll down, you see that he'll be like prospective student or prospective applicant can contact me by my email so that's the right time for you to write a formal email telling him about yourself like my name is so so and so i have done research or i've worked with this field and i have bachelor in so so and so with a good gp of so so and so and don't forget to attach your cv and transcript to the email so i this has a little information about the professor so what i'll do is i'll still go back to the school portal or the school website and then go and visit the faculty website which i did over here so when you come here i've opened the faculty i'll go through each of them so you will see when you click on let's say i'm looking for dr dan at this point dr dan so i this is dr dan i'll just click on his profile and it's going to open everything about him this is his personal information, where he lives, his office location, and his website, and then his email address. So if you want to reach out, you just copy the email and then send him a formal email. This is These are the areas his research are in. So you just have to read more about the area you are interested in and email him accordingly. So... I always encourage students to visit some of his publications, some of the articles he published, read and make sure that you mention it in your email. It makes them understand that you really read about them and you really know what you're talking about. I, I'm still interested in visiting his lab website. So I'll click on the link. It takes me to professor's lab. You see, welcome to his lab. This is the name of his lab, the lab news where they where they reach with their research everything about them so let me see this is we we study how animals tissue acquired this is biological styles you just look at it um i also visit the the lab news what they have what information they have okay you don't need to do everything but i'm just trying to see if i have more information about the lab it's very good you visit things and know more so especially their group this is the people in his research group so imagine joining this nice group that would be wonderful and he has a lab to tab okay you are going to do the same for other research uh, members like faculty members the, the list is very tall it's about 25 faculty members recruiting in various fields so let's say I go and pick another professor. Let's do uh, Professor Lee Lee. So he is doing a research in ovarian reserve information, maintenance and interassociation ovarian dysfunction and diseases. So 
I was still visit the faculty. You said pros prospective applicants can reach me on my email. Yeah, I'll still go to the faculty portal and look for the professor's name. I think it will be somewhere. Okay. So this is Professor Lee. I click on his profile again. Yeah. So this is over here. You see everything about the professor. Sometimes I encourage students to look out for the professor's CV and then make sure your CV follows the same format. It helps him to understand your CV faster. That's one trick about this whole thing. You know, most of us have our own CV in a different format, but sometimes when you look at the professor's CV, you can address your CV accordingly. It makes him quickly look through and understand your CV. And then these are his research areas. You can click on it. His lab information is here. His email address is here. I'm still going to search through his... Okay, these are some of his articles and publications. You try and do that exactly the same for all the faculty members recruiting. If you don't understand something, you reach out to the director of graduate students, especially when it comes to the admission requirements. You reach out to Dr. Manuel. He's the right person that will help you. A lot of students come into our DMs and ask us that what are the documents required for admission? So what are so-so and so required? Like this question should always go to the director of graduate students or sometimes they will write graduate coordinator or program coordinator. They are there to support you, to help you make sure that you gain admission. So every information you need. Sometimes if you're not getting funding from faculty members, you can inquire from the program directors or the coordinators to find out if the department has funding before you apply for a particular school. Imagine getting admission without funding. It's so frustrating. Most of the school, you can save time or money by asking the faculty members before applying. Some of them will tell you that apply early to get funding. So, it's all, so I encourage everybody to go through the list. It's a very tall list, about 25 faculty members doing re research and they are recruiting. Like you said, they are recruiting for next year. This is the right time for 2024. Try as much as possible to at least email five of them. Their research aligns with your interest. Look through everything they are doing. Understand before you email them. And after you email them, they look through their, their email and then they invite you for an interview via a Zoom or any Skype or anything. So it's going to be an online interview. And once you are granted this interview and you pass very well, you should know that the graduate assistantship with all these benefits, health insurance covered, monthly stipend, um, tuition covered, you are going to enjoy everything. And when it gets to visa interview, you don't have to prove any funding. As in, you don't need a bank statement to go for your visa interview. You just go with your I-20 with all these nice things on it that the school, you are going to work with the school. It helps you to get your visa very quick and you save a lot of money. Let me know. I'm going to add all the link down the video. You can look at them later. Thank you. Bye.